Well, hello again. Welcome back to my shop, and here's another radio I'm going to check out. And this is a Florida. That's the uh, model name, Florida. And I believe this was made in Yugoslavia for North America. And uh, that's the reason why it's called the Florida. I guess if you were in Yugoslavia back at the time this radio was being made, one identifier for the United States, North America, or whatever, was the word Florida. Now, apparently, that was a well-known word I heard. So, that's why it's named Florida. But on the front of it, there's no other branding. There's no way to know who manufactured this uh, this radio. So, uh, let's see. Just tune it a little bit, yeah. The tuning dial's moving quite nicely. Feels good. Oh, it's got separate tuning for FM. This bigger dial here, and it's moving. Very good. Volume and tone. They're all working just fine. At least they're turning. No, oh, it's got a magic eye up here. Off button. Sometimes these buttons get uh, interfere with this bezel here on these radios. If it's not. If the radios come loose and shift it a little bit, but uh, this looks perfectly lined up. It's off, so this would be AM like that, short wave like that, FM like that, long wave like that, PU, which I think means uh, record player, tape deck, something of that sort, coming into it. Which, of course, that could uh, be an iPod input these days. Or some, or your, or your computer, or your TV, or anything could go into the back of this. The uh, this grill looks fantastic. It looks fantastic. It's uh, bright, shiny. It's not stained. Let's see. Sometimes on camera you can see stains you can't see off camera. So I'm looking up at the uh, my computer screen now. No, it looks fantastic. So unfortunately, this bezel is highly worn. It's worn from someone's hand being on it like this. It's all the areas where your hand would go. So, uh, you know, the best move on this might be just to remove the remaining uh, pattern. It's just a little bit. Let, let me show you that on close up a little bit. Okay, so uh, you can look on the front here and you can see the wear marks. And it's pretty certain from somebody putting their hand on here somehow all along here. So the radio's been used a fair bit. It's certainly a use sign, but I suspect this didn't stand up well at all. So probably our best move on this is just to remove all the remaining uh, pattern there and just have a clean aluminum uh, what would you call that? It's clearly a place to put your hand. Okay, so should we check this guy out and see if it works? I think that's a good idea. So let me just check. It's plugged in. Okay. There you are. Keep your eye on the light bulb there. So it's turned off, the power is on now, it has not come on, so these uh, switches often are trouble on these radios. We'll put it on AM, here we go. Very good, panel lights have come on. Line voltage is behaving the way I would expect it. Light bulbs not very bright, it's pretty good, two thumbs up so far. The uh, magic eye has come on. It's very, very bright. It's nice. It's very nice. And uh, let's hear it. There we are. Here. Oh, there's a hum there. Hmm. 
Yeah, uh, hum those. I didn't notice the hum at first. It seems to have come in late and, and kind of built up a bit. I don't know why that would be, but it's definitely a hum here. I don't know if, it, if you can hear it uh, on the YouTube video or not, but uh, that's definitely an annoying level of hum. Pointers right here. Terrible, uh, what you call backlash. Oh, oh. I can't turn it down. Oh, now it's going down. What happened there? kind of strange. It's like the volume control stopped controlling the volume for a bit there. Okay. It's not picking anything up but noise, but uh, I think that's typical down here in my shop for a lot of radios. Let's try FM. It's a separate tuning knob for FM, FM, AM. It's not bad, we're not even full, full voltage here. Full supply voltage. Uh, let's put it on full voltage. Oh, there's that hum. Base response. That actually works. Just keep going. If you're going to be outdoors enjoying the fantastic weekend that we have ahead of us, according to the forecast, just keep in mind mosquitoes are back. Good times. Uh, a musician. That's right. Forecast is great for this weekend here. So I don't plan to be in my shop too much. Hum is terrible on this. It's a humdinger. Okay, let's might as well try the short wave band. Why not? Oh. Well, I'm sure you can hear the hum now. Now I turn the volume all the way up. The hum kind of goes away a little bit anyway. Not sure what that's telling us, but it's something. So where are we here on the shortwave band? Oh, this is uh, only the 49 meter band. Where'd that come from? I don't know. Okay. Yeah. So it's. Uh, a little past 10.30 in the morning here, this is not the time to be listening to 6 megahertz short wave. There's nothing. So, might get some uh, American religious stations. But you know, this band doesn't go very high. 6.19 at the top. I thought it would go higher, like 6.4 or something. There's zero antenna on here too, so, you know, fat chance. But it all seems to be working. There's that hum. That hum. That's strange. Sounds like a power supply hum.
Well, I don't see anything bad happening, and I don't know what I would normally see. It's pretty clean, actually. Okay, it's very clean. So somebody's done a fair bit of work on here. I mean, somebody wrote all this stuff on here. So, indicator EM84. Yeah, that's about as much as we can do right at the moment. Um, pretty clear that Not much room with this radio, that's for sure. That hum is probably easy to solve. And uh, we have ourselves a real nice radio. That's what I think. So thanks for watching the checkout. Catch you on the next video.